All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to convert between the amount of something in moles and the amount of that same thing in particles. Now these particles could be atoms, they could be molecules, they could be ions, just whatever the particular scenario is. So suppose we have 1.2 moles of water. And we want to convert this 1.2 moles of water into water molecules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a conversion factor. And I'm going to use this relationship above, 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles in order to carry out this conversion. So since these two quantities are equivalent, they can be used as a conversion factor. Um, and if you, if you need uh, a refresher on conversion factors, I do have a video for that. So in this conversion, I'm going to put my moles of water on the bottom. And I'm going to put my water molecules on top. And for every one mole of water, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. Moles of water cancels with moles of water. And we end up with 7.2 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. Pretty straightforward? I think so. So let's try another one. Suppose we have 3.7 times 10 to the 20th sodium atoms. And we want to convert this 3.7 times 10 to the 20th sodium atoms into moles of sodium. So I'm going to set up my conversion factor. And I'm going to put sodium atoms at the bottom. And I'm going to put moles of sodium at the top. And once again, for every one mole of sodium, we're going to have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd sodium atoms. Sodium atoms cancels with sodium atoms. And that leaves us with 6.1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of sodium. So there you go, there's how to go back and forth between moles and particles.